So yeah, you know, we got this Western Conference Finals preview. You know who I'm representing, the Warriors, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we don't beat the Dallas Mavericks, sorry about that. Um, yeah, man, we're, we got heart of a champion, you know what I'm saying? It's my world champions t-shirt, you know, Oakland the tree. But anyway, you know, we, we always face you know, great players all these years, all these all-stars and stuff like that. All these ISO players, you know, like Lawiney James, Bron Bron, you know, we face him in the finals. You know, we face James Harden like three times in the playoffs during the dynasty years. We face Dame Lillard about, Dame Lillard about three times. You know, him, we'll call him, you know, uh, Jokic these past playoffs. I mean, you name it, you know, we face a lot of great players and beat them. A lot of these all-stars and all that, ISO boys, Warriors know how to play that. We got Draymond Green, we got Wiggins, got Kaminga. Kaminga going to have to break out this series, real talk. Um, yeah, he's going to have to be that dude, though. He's 6'8", with length, excellent size, he's 225. He... he as of draft day, he was, but he might actually even be even, uh, probably even heavier, even stronger, you know? Kaminga. I mean, I could, that man has talent, man. That's a bad mother. That's a bad mother, man. But yeah, he can go to the rack. He has a couple good moves. He got to keep getting better. But, you know, Kaminga, we need you to go all out, man. We need you to do what Kawhi Leonard did to LeBron in the 2014 finals. You know what I'm saying? Just lock him up. Make him inefficient. Because Kawhi was real young. He was like 21. Kaminga was like 19. But, you know, and I'm just saying, but Wiggins, 6'8", we got we need your length. You know, Draymond Green, 6'6". I mean, Green, you know, could, um, he guarded Jokic really good. Jokic was 6'11", 250, you know. He, he did a pretty damn good job. You know, did a pretty good job against Jaron Jackson, making him work, changing shots on players at the rim, whether it's Bain or or uh, Dylan Brooks, the punk. Villain Brooks, as I call him. Dirty dirty boy. Plays dirty, the all-dirty team. All-dirty starting five. Dylan Brooks is in it. Along with Chris Paul, but that's story for another day. But these Dallas Mavericks, they got Brunson, they got Finney, they got uh, Frank Nicolatina, that length off, off the bench. You know, defense. Spencer Dinwiddie, who had a lot of promise with the Nets. Um, you know, he's now on their bench. And he had a hell of a uh, game seven. You know, you've been playing good lately, okay. But we ain't gonna allow that. Team's too good. I'm guaranteeing. I'm guaranteeing the Warriors are going to win this series. Give y'all yeah, six games. You know, let those East teams beat each other up. You know, real talk. Um, so, yeah, man, the Warriors can be even full, full effect. Got a little rest. You know, one on Friday, don't play till Wednesday. That's rest. You know, I can regroup, you know. Probably rest this Saturday, Sunday. Today, Monday, you know. On Tuesday, man. It's almost going to be at the Chase Center in San Francisco. Heck, yes. I'm freaking fired up, man. Clay, game six, Clay against Memphis. We need him to play like that in every game this series, man. Luka Doncic is going to have to guard somebody. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. He's going to have to guard somebody. Jordan Poole is going to be a pool party. You know, you got Clay, You got Stephen. Go point guard Curry. You know, can't hide him on Wiggins. Wiggins can, you know, I mean, Wiggins can get off when he can get off. You know, mid-range in the post. Use him as that athleticism. And there's times where he gets that little mean streak and he does a damn great job. So, you know, we'll see what kind of, you know, stuff we get from him, <clears throat> Mr. Wiggins. Hey, Wiggins is a, a talent, though, man. 
time to sh I mean, he, in game six, he was big too. It's like Clay, you know. Um, he showed why he was the number one pick that game, that's for sure, you know. And uh, I'm, I'm just happy, man. I'm just happy. West Finals, man. People thought the Warriors were done. Like, they're just old, man. Like, they're just old. No, nah, man, they, they're not old. They're not old. Nah. Just getting started. Got some youngsters, you know, they need to play Moses Moody, hopefully. You know, hopefully instead of Damian Lee. That's what I would call for. But, you know, Kevon Looney, he played like Dennis Rodman in the uh, last game. It's 22 rebounds, showing that length. He took it personal because game five, the Warriors got out, like manhandled, lost by 50. <laughs> you know? So, I took it personal, man. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, man, we, we just going to keep rocking it out. What do you guys think? What is your prediction? I'm ready. Western Conference, Jason Kidd's their coach. Jason Kidd has a homecoming. He's coming back to the Bay. to where he's from, Oakland, Alameda. Yay area. Jason Kidd, one of my top 10 favorite players, but... You know, he's a, he's a he's an Oaktown boy, but nah, man, he's the enemy right now. He's the enemy. Man, no ifs, ands, or buts about that. You know, I don't like that guy right now. But yeah, man, <clears throat> he'll try to drop some. Warriors got too many weapons, though. Too many weapons. And who's Dallas? I mean, Powell, their center. Is he a threat like a Jared Jackson or a Steven Adams was? I think not, not to me. A little Brunson, he's not gonna do that. Well, they better hope we don't get Gary Payton j back GP2. You know, that'll be nice, cause you know, Gary Payton, senior, he mentored Jason Kidd, so wouldn't that be interesting? <laughs> you know, and then, then <laughs> little GP beats Jason Kidd in a playoff game, or playoff series, and then he'll have bragging rights. It's like Gary Payton felt like he always got the upper hand on Jason Kidd in their matchups. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, I might do a video on, on, on them two point guards, though. Their careers and stuff. But, yeah, anyway, man, Dallas, y'all going down, man. It's like my 49ers beat the Dallas Cowboys in the playoffs. But now my basketball team, the Golden State Warriors, is going to beat your basketball team out there, Dallas, once again. I mean, deja vu all over again. I'm ready for it. What do you guys think, y'all? Like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. What do y'all think? What's going down this series, though? I just want to know. I'm fired up. I'm ready. Ready like Freddy. Um, I'm just ready, man. And what's your prediction, y'all? I'm fired up for this. Like and subscribe, notification bell, y'all. Yep.